Hi friends. I just want to take a minute to check in with everyone and I have, I guess I just want to start with one question. How many of you have seen people acting a little crazy right about now? Uh, I don't know about you, but that has been my experience. I feel like there is this extreme between uh, people who are acting very nonchalant versus people who are uh, maybe going into a little bit of the crazy realm. But I wanted to take a minute and talk about, I think, um, one of the things that I've been feeling, which is some intense emotions. And I think with the environment right now, we're not only having our emotions due to, you know, uncertainty, but we're also picking up on a lot of other people's emotions as well. And for me, that's been manifesting in this like crazy weird sadness to the point where it almost feels like this oppressive weight. And I just have tears leaking out of my, leaking out of my eyeballs, which I'm a sensitive person anyway, but this has felt a little um, more than normal. So I went back and was looking at one of my lessons that I had been going over with my seniors because it felt really pertinent to what I've been experiencing right now and that um, is emotional intelligence. So that's kind of what I've been trying to practice right now but to give you guys some background I thought I would start with the story of an astronaut named Lisa Nowak. I don't know if you guys heard about her, but in February of 2007, this woman learned that an ex of hers had a new lover. And she drove 900 miles from Texas to Florida to confront her ex's new lover. And this whole incident inspired the 2019 movie, Lucy in the Sky. And this to me was a perfect example of someone who obviously is highly intelligent. She's an astronaut. Uh, it requires a lot of intelligence and discipline and skill in order to even become an astronaut. You have to be the elite, some of the best of the best to even do that job. However, she lacked emotional intelligence. So just definition of both of those, just general intelligence is your measurement of your ability to process information and come to a sound decision. Emotional intelligence, otherwise known as EQ, sounds very similar. It is your ability to process your emotions as well as the emotions of the people around you and to again, come to sound decisions. IQ is something that you're kind of born with. That's not something that uh, you can really change a whole lot, but emotional intelligence is something that you can practice and you can work on. Obviously, I think this makes, I work with teenagers, so it makes me think of teenagers because when you are young and you feel emotions for the very first time, like the first time you have a breakup, the first time your heart is broken, your emotional intelligence isn't developed, so the first time you experience that, you might react in a Lisa Noak type of way and do something that seems very crazy because you don't quite know how to process those strong emotions. Hopefully by the time you're Lisa's age though, however, you've learned how to process those emotions so you aren't reactionary. One of my beliefs is that there is no such thing as a bad emotion or a good emotion. They're just emotions. A lot of times people see anger or jealousy, um, those type of emotions as being negative or bad, whereas love and happiness are good. I think all emotions are have the ability to be good and all emotions have the ability to be bad because the emotion, you feel it, and hopefully you have the ability to process it and to act on that in a positive way. However, it's your actions that determine if that emotion is good or bad. So if you can take in an emotion like anger, you can feel anger at a certain situation and you could channel it into something good. Like maybe you stick up for someone who's being bullied uh, versus punching someone in the nose. I would not recommend that. That would be a bad way to channel your anger. And uh, I think in this situation that we're in right now, for example, we're going to be feeling a lot of emotions and I would just like to encourage everyone to stop 
and be an observer of your emotions, whether you're feeling sadness, whether you're feeling anxiety, whether you're feeling stress, whatever that is, because I'm sure that there's a lot of emotions that you take an opportunity to observe them, to process them, decide how you wanna act and what you wanna do. Um, and sometimes you might even just need to let it go without an action. But ultimately, emotions are temporary. They come, they go, they change. And we don't wanna act in a way that's gonna need to be permanent. Um, we don't want to hurt people around us as a result of a temporary emotion. So hopefully everyone can take that in mind, but hope you're doing well. Bye.